Hi, this is Larry the Barberman. I'm about to do a series of how-to videos. My face is in an unkept state, so I need to get myself prepared for the camera. I've had people requesting that I do my full shave routine in uh, continuation to some videos I did before on how I avoided getting razor bumps after having uh, maybe a three month uh, period where I was getting razor bumps. So today I'm gonna go through my full routine of how I do wet shaves and maintain a bump free face in the bearded area. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through the tools that I use and the products that I also use as well. So let's get started. So first and foremost, I use the sick and stone uh, exfoliating tool. This is basically used for raking out the hairs out of your face because before when I had uh, razor bump problems, I would have the hairs lodged in my face. What this product actually does, it rakes them out of the face before you shave. It's also a good idea to use this before you go to bed at night. Also, I'll be using a the finest badger brush. Uh, this finest badger brush is a really good quality badger brush, soft, but it's got very uh, strong ending, good backbone. So I'll be using that. I'm just going to place that into the hot water now so that can soak down. Also, I use a scuttle. Uh, scuttle is used so you can pour hot water inside of it. It keeps your lava nice and warm, which keeps the pores open and the skin nice and relaxed. I'm also be using my one blade razor, fantastic razor. I mean, this is a, a 400 pound price point. It's one blade and one blade is the perfect solution if you suffer from ingrowing hairs because when you use the conventional four or five blades from the Gillette, it takes the skin below the hair, below the skin line. And as a Afro-Caribbean person with uh, coarse and curly hair, the hair is inclined to grow back in and give you the razor bump. So when you're cutting the hair with one blade, it cuts the hair parallel with the skin, which reduces the risk of getting razor bumps. And what I also love about this razor, it's so close, yet it's so gentle on the skin at the same time. It's a fantastic razor. So that's the one blade shaver. Uh, in terms of shaving cream, all my products I use are Kiehl's. I've been using this Kiehl's uh, brushed formula of shaving cream. Also a really fantastic gentle cream that uh, does the job really well. Under normal circumstances, I'll be using the Kiehl's facial fuel wash. However, because I'm in the studio environment, I'll be substituting this with something else. But what I'd normally do is open my pores by first washing it with water for a, uh, a period of time. And then I would add some of this to my hand or a small sponge and work it in my skin to cleanse it. Also, when I'm having a quick shave, I will use the Close Shaver Squadron uh, Brushless Shaving Cream. However, because I'm using the brush today, I shan't be using this in the capacity of shaving cream, but I will be using it to create a barrier between the stick and stone exfoliating tool and my skin. Also, I use the Kiehl's facial scrub. I more use that in the top half of the area because I'll be exfoliating the bottom half with the stick and the stone. Um, to finish off, I always use the Allen block, which is uh, an astringent antiseptic block, natural. I just rub this over the skin, so if I do get any cuts, it, uh, it works as an antiseptic. It's also an astringent, which means it will close the pores on my skin. Then to finish up, I will add the Age Defender Power Serum. Uh, basically, this moisturizes the deeper layers of skin on my face. I'll then seal that with the ordinary moisturizer, which does the upper layer of skins, plus it uh, seals the serum into the deeper layers of skin. Also, I've got a hot towel. Normally, I just prefer, like I said, to run hot water on my face over a period of time. This opens up my pores 
and relaxes my skin beautifully when I'm in the bathroom. But like I said, I'm in the studio environment, so I'm having to adapt for that for you. But there is nothing wrong with giving yourself a hot towel shave at home on a Saturday or Sunday when you have time. So now you know what I use, let's get down to how I do my shave. So like I said, I'm going to have to adapt to a studio environment. So I've just got some facial wipes just in the packet here. They're pure exfoliating wipes. I got them from the one pound shop, I'll be honest with you. So first I'm gonna cleanse down my face with this, but this would normally consist of me wetting my face with hot water. It's a bit linty this, so I'm just kind of picking it up out of my mouth and my skin. So that's step one. That would just be water splashed on the face. Step two, the clothes shaver squadron. I'm going to use this to create a barrier between my skin and the exfoliating stick and stone because this can be a little bit harsh. Like I said, if I'm having a quick shave, I'll use this shaveless formula. I'll use the shaveless formula now for my exfoliation. So I'll get that just in the bearded area. I then get the stick and stone and I try to do this very quickly. In a lot of cases, I want to go against the grain because going against the grain, I know it's working really well to pull those hairs out that may be trying to lodge themselves in my skin. And you can swap up the direction and do this with just very quick flicking movement. Yeah? So that's that phase done. Normally I would rinse, but like I said, in the studio environment, I have to adapt. So again, I'll be using one of the wet wipes I procured from the one pound shop, just to cleanse down my face of the lubricant or the barrier, whatever you want to call it. That's taken off the excess. Let's work now on cleaning it way down with an, a, a fresh towel. Right, that's that. So after this process, I'm gonna go straight into the hot towel. So now it's a good idea to prepare your lava. So like I said, I use the Kiehl's brushed formula of shaving cream, which is really gentle. So I normally get about that much, as you can see on my finger. Just put that into the scuttle so the heat starts to get at it straight away which is really good because, like I said, it's a really nice experience to put warm lava on your face. So the brush has had time to soak down. What I try to do is just get it in the centre, get that uh, lava in the centre of the brush, and then it can foam out from the centre. And what you want to do with this is get a nice a little bit more water. Eerie, foamy lava going. This won't mix too much because the brush, <clears throat> where this is a really dense and really good quality brush, that should pretty much retain all the lava that I need. So I'm going to leave that. So when I'm ready, after I've finished my hot towel, I'll be virtually good to go with nice hot lava. So instead of breaking that process to mix this lava once you've opened up the pores, so proper preparation prevents poor performance. Right, this is a towel that I've heated up. This is not something that, like I said, I do all the time. So if you see me flinching, it's because it's really hot. Now, one way of ad adapting your face to the heat is to stretch the towel out like this. And then you can test it that way. So it's, it's really good for me now. 
and then what you want to do is spread it over the bearded area okay so you do that for two minutes now the skin will be nice I'm relaxed so I'm still fighting with the lint the pores will be nice and open the beard will be nice and soft so at this stage like I said you want to go straight in with your lather or in my case hot lather so I like to spoil myself and what I'm doing here I'm doing circular motions because the purpose of the brush is to give your skin a light exfoliation as well as lift the hairs that are going to be shaved up in an upright position so when the razor goes over it it gives you a nice clean even cut so like I said don't be shy when you get your brush just keep rubbing it round and round in circles and I'd advise that you get a brush with a small bulb because when you've got a big bulb it just ends up most of it going up your nose or you have to use your finger to apply it to your moustache area okay so here we go we're ready to go with the shave with the one blade shave and like I said this is an unsurpassed shaving experience I don't know if you can see from there but it goes really close first time and you notice that I'm just stretching my skin by every pass that I make what I love about this razor also it's got a pivoted head so if you see that and this is made from the finest uh, German steel I mean it's a really nicely engineered blade because normally when I go under the under the chin it's really really hard to keep it but because of that it makes it so much easier see the cleanness of that shave really really good I mean you would expect that for nearly a 350 pound razor that it would perform as good as you see it is here I'm only really going to do one pass for you because to be fair that's all you need with this and if you go in diagonal motions like I'm showing you now, you should only need one pass with this. It's the Turkish way of shaving. Whereas the Europeans and Americans come straight down, 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 down. And then after that, they'll go across, 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 and maybe go up, up. But the Turks just do the up and the across in one movement, which is really good way of reducing irritation and if you've seen in my other videos irritation is the prime cause of ingrowing hairs, razor bumps, razor rash so if you see now here my chin's dried up so what you do when the, the chin or any area and it's got a really cool stand as well dries up you just redo your lava and then lift the old lava and come in with the new so it's all nice and moist and ready for the blade I've overcooked it there with the water but I 
I'm going across the grain now. This is also relatively permissible if you have sensitive skin as I do or did. The more you treat it well, the more it desensitizes. Right, I've just got a little bit here. I'm gonna do just a cheeky little cross pass. I underestimated how much lava I would need. So this is a cross stroke that I'm doing across the grain. Right, that's it, I'm happy with that. So I put the blade back on its stand, just wash my hands off a little bit. That's my shave. Normally at this stage, what I would do, again, I would rinse off, but for the purpose of this studio shave, because that's what it is, I'm going to just use the lint again, the lint, sorry, the face wipe, but we should see little lint now because there'll be little or no bristles there. Now this is quite interesting because I had like a little spot and I've kind of cut it. So now I'm going to use the allen block and you'll see how quick So what this is doing right now, it's acting as an antiseptic. So where I've got that little cut, I'm getting a tiny sting. And it's also an astringent as well. So it's closing the pores at the same time. I'm just rubbing it a bit more. And what you do, you just wet it slightly to create some glide. As you see, that's pretty much stopped leading now. That's how good the Allen block is. And as I said, it's an antiseptic as well. Really, really, really good shaving aid or companion. That's that. So what I'm doing now, I'm just allowing the alum and my face just to dry naturally. So I'm just having a uh, little clean up here and then when that does dry completely then I'm going to start the moisturization process because like I said you need to keep your skin nice and moist and that's another reason that can cause ingrowing hair if you've got dry skin because the hair can't come through dry skin or dead skin and it protects your skin against dirt getting in straight away and just when you're outside pollution. Right, so that's all dry. So like I said, I'm gonna come in and do a deep moisturization with the uh, power serum. I would use two squirts of this. This is the main area because it's gonna be suffering from the dryness. I think I'm going to end up with four squirts on this particular. So that's my deep moisturization. Now I'm going to come in with the normal moisturizer, which is going to seal the deep moisturizer serum and also moisturize the top layers of my skin also. I'm just spreading it around liberally now. And Kiehl's do a really nice eye cream as well. I haven't got it on the desk, but that is something I add occasionally. And there you go. A Larry the Barber Man bump free shave. This shave is particularly good for Afro-Caribbean and uh, African people with uh, coarse and curly hair. Like I said, working with one blade, not the multiple blades, you reduce the risks. Using the stick and stone exfoliator, 
to pull out any hairs that may be thinking of making their way back into your skin is also another good deterrent. So there you go, that's the Larry the Barber Man shave. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There'll be plenty more shaving videos and plenty more uh, how-to videos for barbers. Thank you.